Hello, hello, my crafty friends, and welcome to Fun Paper Art Channel. On today's video, I will be sharing with you how to create this adorable coin envelopes using a 6x6 cardstock page. And here is the 6x6 cardstock page that I will be using for this tutorial. And I will also use a scrap piece that matches this pattern that I chose. And this scrap piece is going to be cut into circles to form this part of the coin envelopes. Then we are going to use scissors and glue and a pencil to make some marks to see where we need to punch to make the closures. We will need some baker's twine or embroidery floss to make this part of the closure. We will need a die or a punch that can cut a circle that is 5 eighths of an inch. We will need a circle hole punch that measures 1 eighth of an inch. We will use some brads. We will need a ruler. And for this tutorial, I will be using my scoring board and my bone folder, but these are optional. You can always use a ruler and a pen that doesn't write anymore to make your scoring lines. And last but not least, and also optional, if you don't want these parts here of the flaps to be a straight line, you can use an edge punch or an edge die to give a better finish to your flaps. And now with the 6x6 six six paper here on the scoring board, we are going to score at 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. Then you are going to score at 4 and 3 eighths. And then you need to turn your paper 90 degrees and make sure this part here is going to be the bottom part of your coin envelope. And you are going to score at 3 quarters of an inch. Then turn 180 degrees. And this is going to be the top flap of your coin envelope. And you are going to score at 1 and 1 quarter. And I just turned the paper over so you can see the scoring lines better. And you can see the rectangle here. And this is going to be your top flap. And this is going to be your bottom flap. And we are going to remove this part here. This one. This. And this. And I'm going to use my scissors to do that, so you can see here. And now we have this shape here. And this part is going to be optional in case you want to use an edge punch or an edge die. And I'm going to try to centralize the paper here in my punch. So we have the same distance of paper here and here, and we are going to punch. Then we will finish punching. And 
and we are going to do the same here at the bottom try to centralize so same distance of paper here and here then we are going to punch and finish punching and now we are going to cut this bottom flap at an angle just like so and do the same on the other side and we are going to do the same here for the top flap so cut at an angle and now we are also going to cut this part over here so this is the top flap we're going to cut this part here at an angle not very deep just a small angle and we are going to do the same on this side here and you can use this part if you want to have the same distance but I will go ahead and do this by eye and now we are going to fold our envelope just like so and crease fold this side over and crease fold the flap here at the bottom and crease and do the same with the top flap so now we have our envelope almost complete and now we are going to use the circle punch or the circle die to punch the circles for our closure so we are going to use four circles and then using the hole punch we are going to punch a circle right at the center of this larger circle so let me see and then we are going to use this as a guide to punch the other circles in the same place and then we are going to use the glue to glue two of them together and make a stronger closure for our envelope then using a ruler you can find the center of your envelope and I am just going to follow my punch here I have this right in the middle so I'm going to follow that but you can use the ruler and mark the center so we are going to make a mark let me see the center is right here we are going to make a mark right about here on the top flap and another mark right about here so we have a mark here and one here and we are going to use the hole punch 
over this marks just like so and then open this way to the side and do the same just where I made my mark so we have this hole here at the top flap and this one on the side and we are going to use a bread actually two and I'm going to use pink for this project <laughs> then we are going to get this circle that we made and we are going to add one here just like so oops and open like this make this straight because we are going to apply glue here and this is going to be between this paper and this one then we are going to get the other circle and put the bread through and we are going to add here at the top flap and open the legs just like this so we have one bread here and one here and now it's time to glue and we are going to apply glue right here and here and then we are going to fold this way and make sure it glues and then we are going to apply glue here at the bottom flap now it's time to add the baker's twine or the embroidery thread to make our closure and i am using 12 inches of embroidery thread and we are going to go behind this circle here with the thread just like so and we are going to make a simple knot if you want you can make it double but I don't think we need that then grab your scissors and if you want you can remove the excess here of the smaller part just like so and now we are going to pass this embroidery floss behind the circle just like so and there you have it isn't it beautiful and you can see the designs here for the flap very very pretty and you can decorate if you want or you can use it like this it's beautiful anyways <laughs> and that's it for this tutorial thank you all so so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed already please do so i would love 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 to have you in the fun paper art family i wish you all a lovely lovely day and i hope to talk to you pretty soon bye bye